hadith where the Prophet said, Al-Mu'min kal A believer is for another believer like a building block. They should do ba'duhum ba'da. They strengthen each other. Our awliya ahu, our protectors, patrons, friends, allies are Ahlul Islam. And we take our understanding of life from Muslims. We do not take it from anybody else. Yes, kalimatul hikmah dalatul mu'min. Fa'ina wajadaha fahuwa ahakku biha. This is true. We can take a word of wisdom from anywhere. But we take our morals from our religion. So now, take one example with a sort of brutalized masculinity where it's been sort of punched and punched and punched and elbowed and kneed. And, and that's the, the reality where people are struggling with basic understandings of, of if somebody <clears throat> displays quote-unquote a masculine quality, if you can even say that, then it must be toxic, it must be poison, it must be despicable. In that sort of framework, people are struggling. We're struggling, we are. We're struggling to figure this out. And because we don't quite understand what we're supposed to do, anyone that we hear, a strong voice, we're running towards it. Whether that's people like Jordan Peterson, whether that's people like Matt Walsh, whether that's people like Andrew Tate, whoever it is, all of these names, and some of you are probably aware of these names, and if you know, you know, that people are running towards it, running, jumping on it, inviting them onto their shows, Muslims. And these are people that call to zina. These are people that call to riba, to interest. These are people that call to muharramat. They're not people that call to Islam. Hum laysu kamithlina. They are not like us. At li- they are not like us, let alone being our teachers. They are not our teachers. Our muallim is Sayyidul Khalq, salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi. Our muallim is Muhammad, Ibn Abdullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our teachers are Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman and Ali. They are our teachers. Our teachers are the salaf of this ummah. They are our teachers. Our teachers are the ajilla, the awliya of this ummah. They are our teachers. These are not our teachers. Be very careful of listening to them and be very careful from letting your children listen to them. Be very careful. Because they may sound like they are saying something that makes sense to us. Perhaps it's only because we've been brutalized and we've been beaten up. Perhaps it's because we're suffering a deep identity crisis. Perhaps, perhaps that's the reason. Perhaps the reason we're listening to it is because it it makes our egos feel good. It strokes the ego. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe that's the reason. But in every question and so... For us, I think if there was a time that we had to return back to the seerah, to the life of the Prophet ﷺ, there was never a more important time. Because if you can spend hours listening to these guys on TikTok or on YouTube or wherever else, listening to their ideas, getting really happy, yeah, yeah, this makes sense, I feel great now, I feel like a man again, right? If that's the kayfiya, if that's the feeling, we need to switch that off and we need to go back to the seerah of the Prophet. That how did the Prophet behave? How did he speak? What did he call to? What were his manners? What were his adab? How did he view the world and how did he teach it? He said himself, Inna mu'alliman. I was only sent as a teacher. So wallahi, we are in a very, very important crossroad. Where right now we are seeing Muslim institutions, people that have been in the Dawah game for a long time, that have gone down a rabbit hole where they are following anybody that they can that will give them some type of... And perhaps, why? Why do you need somebody else from a different community to come and tell you that what you're doing is right? Where's the identity crisis? I mean, where, what, what kind of identity crisis is that? Why is it if you say that this is right, it can't be right? What makes somebody else more special? What makes anybody else, any of the community, what makes them more important? Is it the color of their skin? Is it? Is it the color of their skin? Do we always need somebody who's lighter in complexion than us to come and tell us what's right and what's wrong? Do we need someone from a different religion to come and tell us that we're right? Is that what we need? Why can't we say it? What, take, what makes us so beneath everybody else? Nothing. نَحْنُ مَعْشِرَ Islam. We are the people of Islam. And we are the people of الْأَمَرْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَالنَّهِي عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ If in this world, by Allah, بِاللَّهِ وَاللَّهِ بِاللَّهِ تَاللَّهِ Allah shahid ala ma akul. If there's anybody in this world that can uphold a moral framework that will actually allow for a safe, without a deep mental and physical and spiritual issues, a moral standard, it's pe- the people of Islam. The people of Islam that understand Islam, that understand the sunnah of their messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So I end by saying, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala free us 
from right and left wing politics and Allah give us sunnah. May Allah protect us from what he said and what he's saying and their positions and Allah tells us and Allah informs us only of what he said sallallahu alaihi wasallam may Allah make the sunnah the most important thing in our lives may Allah protect us protect you may Allah protect our children may Allah in every single fard of our lineage in our offspring be people of la ilaha illallah such that we are not embarrassed on the day of judgment before our prophet we pray ya Allah that you conceal our faults you guide our hearts you make firm our feet and that you do not embarrass us on the last day before Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who gifted us this religion in the most beautiful way. And we bear witness that he gave, gifted us this religion. And if we messed up, then it was our fault. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for tawfiq, for himma, for afia, for nusra. He is uh, akram al akrameen He is arham al rahimeen We have a good opinion of him subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will not misguide us. We say, sabbit aqdamana ya rabbil alameen. Ya akram al akrameen Ya Allah, make our... Our master make the source of our understanding of this world. Your beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and nobody else. Allahumma ameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen.